Today we're going to take a look at a method property and the one we're going to be looking at is called execute in edit mode and it does exactly what you think it does. It executes a mono behavior or a component attached to a game object in the edit mode as well as in the play mode. Now there are a few caveats you have to pay attention to when you're using this and I'll go ahead and link the official documentation down below in the description but for this demonstration the update is only going to be called when something changes in the scene and another thing to note is that if you're going to be using on GUI it is only going to be updated when the game view receives an event. There's also another one with the on render object so if you want to go ahead and read more about it I'll leave a little description or link down in the description but let's take a look at this script. So it's just a basic script. All I'm doing is during the update, going ahead, grabbing its color, and I'm just changing its color between the red, green, and blue values, and also its alpha. So let's jump into Unity. And here we go. I have this script here, right here. Change colors. I've attached it to the cube. And every time something is updated, for instance, I've clicked this cube and I'm changing its order, we can see that it flashes colors because it's changing. I guess I could have put a little bit of delay in there, made it slower. But even opening and closing components, you know, every time you cause an update, and also when you hit the play button, it goes off as well. 